What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Texas Young Guns. And if you're like us right now, you are sweating outside because it is hot. So I thought today, um, I've already done most of it, but I thought I would show you how to tint your windows. So for tint, I know you professional tinters out there are going to hate me for this, but I'm actually going to use a Walmart special. Um, and this is not just normal window tint. This is the like static, what they call static clean tint. And I noticed that this stuff's a little bit easier to handle. So the reason why I'm going with this is to show you guys. So mainly the amateurs out there um, that you can do this yourself. And uh, this is the most forgiving that I found in my tinting history. Now the stuff can range anywhere from $12 to I think about $18, depending on which level. Um, the one I just showed you is the professional edition. Um, I think it's the nicest that they have. It has offers the most UV blockage and that kind of thing. Um, they off also offer different percentages um, of light blockage. So if you were to buy, like, let's say a 5% window tint, that means it's only going to let 5% of the light in. If you were to buy a 20%, you would be able to see more through it because it's allowing 20% light in, um, which would obviously be more than the 5% and so on and so on. For our coach, I went with the 5% because 2.5% is, well, it's just about limo tint. My wife wanted us, or Lana, behind the camera there, um, wanted to be able to see out, and I feel like I can uh, block some of the heat as well as still give her that sight to the outside because, I mean, you're camping to see the outdoors, right? And one quick thing I wanted to say before we get started window tinting is I wanted to show you what it looks like. So on my right here, you're going to see a window that I haven't touched yet. Um, it's still as it came from the factory. And then over here is where the 5% tint is. And so I'm going to back away and you can see the difference. So now that I've explained what I'm doing, let's get started. And to get started, um, you're going to need to have some window tint applier stuff. Um, you know, you can buy this stuff. It does come with the kits that you can buy. Um, if you don't have this, um, you can just use like some Dawn, like water and add some Dawn in there and it makes it real slick, works really well. Um, the next thing you'll need um, is you're going to need a piece of cloth that normally comes in that same kit. Um, what this is, is if you were to use paper towels and stuff, um, it leaves behind uh, little little small microscopic pieces of fabric, which will you'll see um, in your window tent. You'll start to see bubbles and stuff because the window till can't get onto the window so this cloth doesn't leave anything behind um, and it's good to have to kind of wipe over the window before you put the tin on um, the last few things you're going to need um, this right here is going to make or break your tinting experience um, and what this is is basically just a utility knife Oop, almost went the wrong way and you want one where you can break off the ends that way you can keep it sharp you don't want to drag when you're cutting your window tint um, like I said, these knives can make or break um, your project. And then the last things, of course, are your squeegees. Don't go out and buy a $100 set of these. You only need one that works really well. Um, I think when I first started window tinting, I bought this. Um, it came with a bunch more. I've done lost them, but mainly I just use these two now. Um, you get good enough eventually where this is good enough. All right, so I have cleaned the window. I left some soapy residue on there, which is perfectly fine because that's going to play into the next step. So I do have my window tent over here, as you can see in the reflection. Um, I'm going to lather the window with my Dawn solution. So I'm going to go ahead and lather this up here. Pretty good. Don't You can't use too much, so don't, don't underdo it for sure. Um, and also I'm going to lather up the tent itself. And that'll help make it easier to move around. All right, so I'm going to lather up the tent now. And remember, you want to keep this tent clean. You don't want a bunch of dust. I mean, luckily with this tent, you can uh, wash it, but you don't want to have to do that before you even put it on there for the first time. So right, I've lathered up the window. I've lathered up the tent. Let's throw it on there. Now, weirdly enough, you wouldn't think this, but I'm actually going to spray the outside as well. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna make it easier for my little little friend here to run across it. So I'm gonna get it roughly about where I want it. And I'm gonna squeegee out. Some in the water. All right, now if you're confused at this point because it's on the outside, don't worry. Remember, we're only using the outside of the window to cut it. Um, obviously, the window tent's not being applied 
um, to the outside, but we're just using it um, to be able to cut it and then we'll take it back inside. So you have your piece that you cut out. I apologize, I couldn't show more of that. Um, like I said, Mother Nature, we were playing with Mother Nature earlier and she decided to rain on me as we were out there. So I actually had to <laughs> change shorts. And uh, But anyways, basically you just use the outside of your window um, as your pattern. You just run the blade against it. It's very simple. Uh, most likely you're going to have to make adjustments when you get back inside anyway. So um, here's our piece. And now it's ready to put it on the window. Okay, just like on the outside, uh, you want to clean the inside of your window. You want to make sure it's, it's spotless, which I've already done. Um, and I'm now going to lather it up with the same solution as I used before. And I'm also going to do the same as outside. I'm going to lather up the tent piece that we just cut um, before I put it on as well. And that, that allows us to move it around quite a bit because um, we're probably going to have to trim and do all that kind of thing. So let's get started. So I'm going to lather it up really well. Remember, you can't put too much but you can put too little. I'm gonna take our piece. I'm gonna leather it up as well. Make sure the window's nice and lathered up, the tent's nice and lathered up. And I'm gonna stick it on there. Now you'll notice right away, that's a little too big and that's kind of what we expected. So you want to make sure that the curves are as good as can be because those are going to be the harder parts to cut. So if you have to choose one side or the other, choose the curves because straight edges are a lot easier to cut. All right, so now that we have it on there, we're going to get it stuck on there with the same tool. I'm going to spray the outside real quick. Makes it easier for my tool here to move across. I'm gonna push the water out. I'm gonna take care of the edges first. So as you can see the water's coming out the right side over there. We'll get that with the paper towel here in a second. You can see all the air bubbles, all the water is being pushed out. All on the right side. I'm using the right side to make it flush and I'm gonna come back here in a second. And I'm gonna trim up the left side just a hair. See, if I didn't get rained on, I would have taken into an account that it's bigger and why I wouldn't have cut it so long on the left side, but unfortunately, I was starting to get rained on, so. Hey guys, I wanted to expand on this a little bit. Uh, what I was trying to say is that you'll have gaskets on the inside of your windows, um, which actually will make the cut of your tent need to be a little tighter than the actually edges of the glass. Um, and this is to take account into those gaskets. Um, so if I hadn't got rained on, um, I would have cut them a little bit skinnier than the width of the window just to take into account um, those gaskets, those edges, and that's all I meant there. I just wanted to expand on that before I moved on. I wish I could have filmed the cutting process a little bit more. Okay. So most of the air bubbles are out, most of the water's out, except for maybe right here. You're probably going to have to do it again, so don't worry if there's still a few air bubbles, because right now we're just trying to get it to where we can trim it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I have a fresh blade on here. I'm going to use the straight edge part of my tool here, and I'm going to use that as my guide. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the straight edge as a, a way to cut, make sure my cuts are straight. And I can push... I'll show you over here first. So you can use a straight edge to go up against the edge there. I'm kind of doing this awkward. And you can use your blade and you can cut like that. And you want to do this from top to bottom. So you can see a cut or trimmed rather the window tent all the way around to make sure it fit really good uh, but doing that I've kind of moved a little bit so the best thing to do now is to go ahead and take it off and then just reapply it and it shouldn't take you more than 10 seconds to put it back on because everything's already cut so well, I'm taking it back off now that I've trimmed it down I'm going to re-soak the window down I'm going to re-soak the tent down and we're going to apply it for the final time and, and hopefully it looks pretty good so let's do it 
So just like before, you'll make sure you lather it up, both sides, the tent as well as the window. It's up there and make sure you lather the outside. And we'll start pushing it out. So you'll start from the corner. All right, as you can see, the difference between the right side I just did and the left side, that hasn't been done yet. And there's both windows done. All right, guys, uh, I hope that was helpful. Um, I'm sure I did a lot of things on the tent job that professional tenters are just yelling at their screen at. But remember, I'm just a DIY guy. Um, I haven't done as many as a professional, but... It is that simple. Um, it's going to take a couple of times for you to get it. Um, don't fret. Like I said, that's why I use the Walmart special because it's only $12 to $18 um, for, uh, I think it's like a six or eight foot roll. I don't remember now, but uh, I, think, I think that's right. Um, anyway, so like I said, I hope that was helpful. We'll see you on the next video. Bye.